Hi, welcome to the NFPA Link YouTube channel. This page is dedicated to answering any questions or challenges you have related to electrical and life safety. And we're going to use NFPA Link to do it. The easy to use digital access to NFPA codes and standards. Today we've been asked to cover the important points of meeting room and conference room receptacle location. Let's get started. The first question we have is, how many receptacle outlets do I need in a conference or meeting room? We're going to go to direct. I'm going to select space. Go to meeting and conference rooms. And you'll notice um, 15 different solutions here that cover different areas. But we have two situations. We're going to click on the conference room electrical. And we're going to primarily focus on number two and three. So to answer our question, how many receptacle outlets do I need in a conference or meeting room? And the answer to that is, it depends on the size of the meeting room. This was not addressed until the 2017 edition of the NEC was introduced. And it was done to help reduce the amount of extension cords being used and those were creating trip hazards. Now, this direct situation is based on the 2020 NEC. So in section 21065, and we're going to start out with number two, and 21065 tells us that we need receptacle outlets in conference and meeting rooms not exceeding 1,000 square foot, and basically a 500 foot by 500 foot square area. This is measured with all dividers if there are any present, closed. So for example, we have an 8,000 square foot meeting room with eight dividers that divide up the room equally into 1,000 square foot rooms. So we're gonna go with that. So if they had those, that would be what would you have. It's not exceeding 1,000 square foot. So you'll see up here, we have this similar in our enhanced content, eight partitions, and it says to go to 21052, which, how do we get to 21052? Well, in A, it said we had to do them in a, do our receptacles in accordance with 21065 B1 and B2. B1 states the required number of receptacle outlets. So this is the required number not location. And this is the required number in 52A1 through 4. And we'll click that and it opens it right up. And you will see in 21052A1, receptacles shall be installed such that no point measured horizontally along the floor line of any wall space is more than six foot from a receptacle. So basically you'd need a receptacle every 12 feet. Now, these receptacle outlets would need to be located per the owner right here, installer or designer. They're gonna determine where those are located. So for an example, we have a thousand square foot room and let's say it required 41 receptacles the installer, owner, or designer could require them to be located all by the stage or most of them by the stage and the rest spread out here and there. And so that's how you would come to that conclusion. Now the floor, so section 21065B2, we're going to click the back and we're going to go to three, which is for floor you will see that these are done quite differently. A floor receptacle is required for a meeting room that has a floor dimension that is 12 foot or greater in any direction and that has a floor area of 215 square feet that must have one floor receptacle out locate, outlet located not less than six feet from any fixed wall 
for each 215 square foot or major portion of floor space. So you'll see it has to be both 12 foot in any direction and that has a floor area of 215 square feet. So you've got to have both. Now, the 2023 changed the language from, fraction, from major portion to fraction thereof, which is more definable. So if it's a fraction over 215 square feet, then it would require an additional floor receptacle. So these receptacles would need to be located not less they can't be located less than 65 or six feet in 21065. So they can't be located less than six feet from any fixed wall. And you'll notice in our artwork here, they are more than six feet from any fixed wall or partition. There are a couple of other points that I want to talk about for floor. These floor receptacle outlets have to be in a floor box that is listed for that application and used as a uh, listed as a floor box. The other uh, other concern is if it is embedded in concrete or masonry, uh, they would have to be identified as suitably protected from corrosion and they would have to be securely embedded in the concrete or masonry. So they have to be secured in place. We hope that answered a lot of your questions about meeting room and conference room receptacle locations. Be sure to visit nfpa.org forward slash link and give Link a try if you haven't already. As you just saw, Link is truly a window to productivity.